Good morning, guys. Quick update. Quick update. Um, yeah, I just want to show you guys a little something here going on in the bed. A little update from the last video when I was putting in all of those alf alfalfa pellets. Uh, look at this, guys. Can y'all see that? Y'all see the difference in that spot right there versus that one? And that's half inch, three quarters of an inch under the surface. Which means this bed is holding more moisture than it did last season. Due to those doggone pellets that I had put in. And that's a good benefit for me because now I don't have to water so doggone much out here in the high desert because it's dry out here and when you have dry conditions and humidity you have high evaporation and that requires more water <laughs> you know and look at these onions guys they were like this right here last time I showed these onions and what a week and a couple of days what eight or nine days or something like that um, was the last time I had dropped the video and from there look at these onions oh man it's time to get some stuff in the ground too late <laughs> I got stuff planted here I got stuff I got stuff already planted and there's more stuff to come but yeah I got stuff planted so let me come over here and see if I can get another shot from this area <laughs> I don't know if that looks the same or not, but just to give you an idea of what the difference in how these onions look versus the last video. And I shot it from this angle right here. And just to see, show you, these onions has come up pretty good. They've come up pretty doggone good. I'm, I'm pleased, I'm happy. So far, so good. I mean, it's a work in progress. This is my second season growing in the desert. Last year was my first. So last year was all about data collecting. What works, what can't work from my normal growing practices, my system that I've developed over the years of which I grow by, and you see how it stands up in, in the desert. Dries all get out. And I got a problem, y'all. I hope I solved it, but I got a problem. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Yeah, I got a problem. Didn't have that problem last season. But okay. Over here, I had laid down a little mulch area here. And my plans is because this whole row right here is planted with different uh, squashes. Zucchini I have in here. I have some butternut in here. I have some uh, yellow squash. So I'm gonna run with those this season. And I'm gonna train those vines to grow out here and take over this space right here. And from here over in the bed out there, then I'll use that for other stuff because I got some black eyed peas I want to get down in here. I got some peppers. And I have stuff planted in here already. I even got more onions. See? Not that big one. That's that's a garlic. You see them other little jokers coming up? The little green scram. Yeah, those are those are onions. Got them coming up. I basically got maybe a third of this bed and that's good because what I want to do the reason I planted them in this bed in that manner I want to plant my greens all up in between there so use my onions as kind of a protection for my greens from bugs so I don't have to go mixing up solutions and this that and the other and whatnot you know it's it's still a work in progress guys I mean it is what it is. My little sweet potato roll over there I told y'all about. Well, I'm gonna make some changes to that. 
And I'm going to walk you over here and I'm going to show you why. <clears throat> now I got some cardboard under this fence. Now the way I have this fence, I got it stretched across the ground on the outside. Stop the rabbits from digging in. So I had tucked the cardboard under it to suppress the weeds. So what I'm having with this row being so close to the fence like this. I got some heavy weed pressure going on right here. Those are weeds and they got to go. So my solution to this was move that cardboard, rip these weeds out. And I have a mound of dirt over there that I've dug out for my, um, my compost, which I hate composting in the ground but you got to do what you got to do these neighbors of mine they're not garden friendly if you will <laughs> but you know out of sight out of mind they I don't know I don't even know how to describe them because they don't understand if you make compost and you got pest you're not doing it right and I made too much compost in my time to have that problem but I can't expect them to understand that because they don't know me. But it's okay. So I've adapted. I do it in the ground. As much as I hate to. But it's better to not have a compost at all. Because compost is important to my style of growing. So these here are white potatoes. I didn't plant them. I told y'all last video I'm not planting no white potatoes this season. And I didn't lie to you because these coming up from last season. When I harvested them, I had some little marble size uh, to, um, potatoes. And that was before I made the decision that I wasn't going to plant white potatoes this year. And I just left them in there. Hopefully they'll come up this year. And lo and behold, here they are. <laughs> they're, they're here. So I'm not going to have a lot. I don't really want a lot. I want sweet potatoes. That's what I'm after. So that takes care of that. And I said over here that I was gonna plant more sweet potatoes here. Well, I, that plan has changed. I'm gonna use this bed for my herbs. So I'm gonna plant herbs here. So this is gonna be my herb bed. And this is that mound of dirt right here that I was telling you guys I'm gonna mix some more um, alfalfa pellets with. And I'm going to make this big potato roll, sweet potato roll, a bit bigger. So I can plant more sweet potatoes there. So then I don't have to have them in two different locations. And go ahead and take this and use it for my, my herbs. And look how much these fennel has grown, guys. Look at that fennel. It was a couple of inches, an inch and a half last video. Look at them now. And I've done nothing to them except, of course, add a little bit of alfalfa mix in it and gave it some water. That's it. That's all. That store bought fertilizer type of stuff. I ain't did that in 15, 20 years. There's no need. But that's how I grow, you know. Now, if you remember from the last video, around the perimeter of these fence here, had all kind of weeds growing up in there that had done died and dried up and whatnot. Well, I had done got rid of all of that. I mean, it don't look like I've been working. I got some stuff done. So my plan is I have a good amount of um, marigold seeds, and I'm going to try to get me a living fence of marigolds all the way around here. And that'll do a couple of things. It'll do a lot of things for me, actually. It's going to bring in some beneficial uh, predator insects to help, you know, keep, keep those bad insects in check. At the same time, I'm seeing signs that I'm going to have a heavier um, insect pressure this year than I did last year. So I'm kind of trying to get that taken care of early as possible so I'm also thinking about throwing me a sunflower on each corner 
and not only on each corner, each middle T post, have me a sunflower there, and two right there at the gate. Growing up, and I don't know if I'm going to do it. It's a, it's an idea, but we'll see. I mean, it'll it'll add some color, but I'm kind of leery of doing it because it's going to draw birds, and they're going to decimate my daggone tomatoes. So I gotta think about that for a minute before I actually do it. And if not, then this bad boy here has got to get planted with something. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to throw in here. I was originally thinking, do my sunflowers here. Maybe throw a couple of pepper plants around it. Um, that's what I was thinking. I still may do it. I don't know. I got to sit down and figure it out. Um, yeah, the garden still looks like a hot mess. Like a freaking hurricane come through here. But I'm busy, folks. <laughs> you know, I can't. Rome wasn't built in a daggone day. I haven't even touched my daggone uh, compost pile. You know, and get that crap out of there and start all over. I haven't even had a chance to get to it. But here's an update, guys. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Don't think that I've just made one video, one hit wonder. That's not my plan. I just got to work through some things. And um, later today, I do plan on dropping another video, but we'll see. That video is going to be a little bit more in depth on some benefits and things of alfalfa pellets. And then after that, we're going to move on to my next soil adventure. So guys, take it easy. Be safe out there. Love your gardens and they'll love you. So I look at it this way. When you plant a garden, nature comes to you. But if you plant a garden with nature in mind, nature stays with you. Don't forget that, guys. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.